feels good. All praise to the Most High God for allowing me to see another day, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Most High Yah, Yahuwah, for allowing me to see another day. Yahuwah, my Messiah. All praise to the Most High God for allowing me to see another day. Shalom, shalom, my Israel family. How y'all doing this morning? This your brother Terrence the Man 6060. Back at you live here on YouTube. Yes, sir. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Sabbath Eve. You know, Sabbath begins from 6, 6 p.m. today to 6 p.m. Uh, from, from Friday sundown to um, Saturday sundown. That's the beginning of the Sabbath. As we're here this morning. Coming at you live this morning. Here on the first day of fall, baby. September 22nd. First day of autumn. Autumn of 2023. Let's see what it's going to bring. So, you know, I live here in... Um, I live here in the East Coast, here in Charleston, South Carolina. I'm gonna get cool, and get cool a little later, like around Halloween after Halloween, around the pagan holiday. That's when it start getting cold and a little chilly. Uh, I got a lot of stuff there for about today. I don't know if you can hear me clear, but I come back to the camera. I know I'm a little far away. I just joined this beautiful morning. Another day, a new day, a new dawn. I thank the Most High God for allowing me to see another day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you to the Most High. Um, most high Elohim. Now I'm gonna come at your boy, man. We got a lot going on. Got a lot to talk to your boy about. We got a lot of people who are um are false prophets here on YouTube. You got a lot of content creators who speak of the gospel truth, right? But you, but the Bible says, Book of Matthew, you say know them by their fruits, right? So you can know them by their fruits. You can judge them righteously, and you can seek them. You can seek and see their soul. You can see. They portray who they are, a uh, certain character for YouTube and public, but they got a different mindset and a different mortality behind closed doors. You see what I'm saying? You understand where I come from? So a lot of people you see, a lot of people you listen to, don't put them on the pedestal. That includes me. You know, seek God for yourself, know God for yourself, read the Bible, read the Bible, be self-approved. Ask the Lord for forgiveness. Repent. Come with repentance. Come with humble and be obedient to the Most High God. See, a lot of us, we we support these content creators, but we don't try to know God for ourselves. We got to know God for ourselves. Don't be like these pepperteers that's in these churches, that these modern churches are leading people astray. You know, they're leading people to darkness. So we must come out of these churches and know God for ourselves. I mean, if the churches tell you the truthful stuff and tell you what's going on in this world that's not understandable but most of these churches they ain't doing it most of these churches don't want your money they want the, the collections plate they pay their bills they pay their church mortgage and such but not trying to build a nation build a foundation you gotta understand most of the churches don't want your money man they don't want your money and then they want your profit um so you gotta have discernment Ask the Lord for the wisdom. You got to pray. Humble yourself. Be obedient. Now I'm hearing a lot of things about October 4th. That a lot of our cell phones, technology screens, is going to black out for, for a couple of hours on October 4th. To test the electronic, to test the technology, to test your spirit in the world. To see how you'll feel when it happens. When see if you strike fear in the hearts of people. Depend on the government, it depend on the world for things. You know the world would panic right now if these cell phones and technology be black out and out of place because they got fear in their heart. They don't know who God is. They don't read the Bible. So they believe everything that they see on TV. Everything that President Joe Biden speaks and says about. But don't have no discernment. So you got to have discernment. You got to know the most high God for yourself. We got to repent today, ladies and gentlemen. We got to get out of this modern day Babylon, this modern day America society that they have programmed in our minds. We got to do better. Time is winding up. It ain't going to be long for the Most High God to come back. A lot of prophecies are fulfilling. You see what's going on in Morocco. You see what happened in Libya. You see what's going on in this world. And you see how they treat people in Hawaii. They give them $700 monthly. I mean, once, once a month. I mean, once. But you give over. Near billions of dollars over to Ukraine. Come on, man. America don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about us. So we got to do better. And people going to these Beyonce concerts, Renaissance concerts, 
worshiping the queen of the witchcraft, the queen of darkness, who doing the devil's work, and people worshiping and going to her concerts, praising her, honor her, idolize her, and don't even know that they're setting themselves up for a trap. So don't be a pepetier. The Bible says, be not conformed to this world. Be set apart. If you're a chosen one, God chosen you to be a chosen one. And he, and he touch your heart and he wants you to come out of the world. If God touch your heart and tell you to do a certain assignment, do that assignment. Do what God tell you to do. Because we live in, a, live in a time now now that's good is evil and evil is good. See, a lot of people try to argue with me on Facebook and social media or comments. Saying that there's no God, there's a, there's a myth. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't argue with them. Because, you know, you judge them by their fruits. They don't know no better. Especially the ones who are children of Esau. So we gotta stay content with the most high and I don't debate and argue with nobody over anything. You know, I just doing what the scriptures tell me to do. But I don't wanna keep y'all boy long, man. Um I'm gonna come at y'all boy live probably in another two hours. We're gonna make some content today. And tomorrow on the Sunday. We're going we going hard. I'm going all the way and I'm coming with you with the scriptures, baby. So I hope y'all have a good morning. And happy Sabbath to you to you. Love y'all. God bless. Shalom.